Unit 1, Earth and Space. Week 1, Plate Tectonics. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray. Dear God, I praise you and I thank you for this wonderful day. Grant me the grace to understand our lesson for today. Through whatever media or modality may it be. And bless me so that I may appreciate this grace of being able to study despite of the challenges we are facing because of this pandemic. Make me realize the value of education and the beauty of learning so that each day I will be more motivated to do my responsibility as a student. Bless our classmates that they too may see your goodness in everything and see this time as an opportunity to show our love to our parents by studying well. Bless our teachers so that they will become more inspired to teach us and see this time as an opportunity to show compassion in their chosen profession. And lastly, our parents so that they may become resilient especially during these trying times. This we ask in your most holy name. Amen. Hi, it's another day and another lesson for us to learn. I am Teacher May and I will be your teacher today. Given the four pictures in each set, guess what specific word fits with the theme of the photos presented. Ready? Let's start! The pictures found on this set are volcanoes and explosions. Guess what? Time's up! Volcanic eruption. Found on this set of pictures are earth and shakes. Guess what? Time's up! Earthquake. Found on this set of pictures are tsunami, tornado, typhoon, and the aftermath of earthquake. Guess what? Time's up! Disaster. Found on this set of pictures are nature and calamities. Guess what? Time's up! Natural calamities. Let us recall what you have learned from your past lesson. We know that the lithosphere is consists of layers, the crust and the upper part of the mantle. The crust is made of a variety of solid rocks like sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. It is the thickest in a part where a relatively young mountain is present and thinnest along the ocean floor. According to the plate tectonic model, the entire lithosphere of the Earth is broken into numerous segments called plates. Plate tectonics is a theory which suggests that the Earth's crust is made up of plates that interact with various ways, thus producing mountains, earthquakes, volcanoes, and other geologic features. Most Essential Learning Competency Describe the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts to play tectonic theory. Our objective for this activity is to determine the relationship of volcanoes and earthquakes. We need the following materials. Hard cardboard scissors or cutters, glass bottle with cover. You may opt to use a plastic container if a glass bottle is not available. Vinegar and baking soda. Are you ready to start? Let's begin. 
Prepare all the materials needed. Make a hole at the center of the cardboard using a scissors or cutter. Make sure that the neck of the bottle fits within the hole. Cut a small hole at the center of the bottle's cover. Then pour the baking soda inside the bottle first and then the vinegar and then put the cover. Shake the bottle while covering the cover with your fingers. Then observe what happens. Guide questions. What happened when shake the bottle? Again, what happened when you shake the bottle? Time's up! The answer? The mixture squirts off the cover. As the mixture squirts off the cover, what have you observed with the cardboard? Again, as the mixture squirts off the cover, what have you observed with the cardboard? Time's up! Answer! The cardboard is shaking. Why do you think the cardboard is shaking? Again, why do you think the cardboard is shaking? Time's up! Answer! It is because of the pressure built inside the bottle as the baking soda and vinegar reacted, the pressure causes the bottle to move and makes the cardboard shake. With a given activity, what can you conclude on the relationship between volcanoes and earthquakes? Again, with a given activity, what can you conclude on the relationship of volcanoes and earthquakes? Time's up! Answer! Volcanoes and earthquakes are related. When a volcanic eruption occurs, Earthquakes may also take place. Some, but not all, earthquakes are related to volcanoes. Most earthquakes are along the edges of tectonic plates. This is where most volcanoes are too. However, most earthquakes are caused by the interaction of plates, not the movement of magma. Most earthquakes directly beneath a volcano are caused by the movement of magma. The magma exerts pressure on the rocks until it cracks the rocks. Then the magma squirts into the crack and starts building pressure again. Every time a rock cracks, it makes a small earthquake. These earthquakes are usually too weak to be felt, but can be detected and recorded by sensitive instruments. Once the plumbing system of the volcano is open and magma is flowing through it, Constant earthquake waves, called harmonic tremor, are recorded but not felt. 